Hey, my name's Ben Fuller, and I'm the National Long Snapping Coordinator with ProKicker.com. Um, we're here today to talk about long snapping, and it's probably one of the most neglected positions on the field. If you've got a guy that can do it, uh, you feel fortunate to have that. But what we want to try to do is provide you with some drills and uh, different things we can do to hopefully be within the confines of your practice schedule, but at the same time increase the effectiveness of your long snapper. Um, the only part of the kicking game that doesn't start with a snap is your kickoff, so it's a crucial part, and we're going to try to take you from your initial approach to the ball all the way to the finish at the end of the snap. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, the first step we need to talk about in an effective long snapping is the approach and setup. To help me do that today, we've got Dwayne Ackerblom, who's a four-year starter at Florida Atlantic University as a long snapper and has been involved with our program at ProKicker.com for three years. What we'll do first, I'll ask Dwayne to go back five yards, whatever distance he's comfortable with breaking out of the huddle. Okay, what we don't want to do is get in a situation where we're snapping the ball out of our hand. A referee will never hand you the ball and ask you to go snap it. So when you, you'll never break that huddle with the ball in your hand. And what you get is guys getting in a bad position that will actually push the ball forward or pull it back to them, and you can't do it. You can roll it a little bit side to side to get your grip right, but as far as pushing the ball forward or coming back, you don't want to do that. So what I'm going to ask Dwayne to do, just to get in a good habit and doing the things right all the time and having a kind of a pre-snap routine, if you want to look at it like that, so there's no psychological problem there. He's doing the same way every time he's comfortable and loose and is not thinking about it in a pressure situation. So what I'll ask Dwayne to do is go ahead and break out of his huddle. Dwayne, go ahead. Ready, break. He'll approach the ball and he's going to get his feet set. He's going to get his feet set. Now what we're looking for here is a, a toe-ball relationship where we're not crowding the ball, okay, where we've got to push it forward, um, or we're not too far away from the ball where you're actually pulling the thing back. So what you want to do is have a good toe-ball relationship where you've got good arm extension, you're able to line up in a stance. Uh, at this point, I'll ask Dwayne to kind of step off to the side right here, so give you a side angle of it, let you see what that looks like, and note the uh, relationship of his toes with the football. He'll break it in, he gets set up, okay? And right there, he's got, a, he's got a good gap here. He's got a good gap here. Now, I'm going to ask him to do it wrong a couple times. This time, he'll break out. Give us your ready break call again. All right, when he does this, he's going to line up too close to the ball. All right, ready break. He come up. He's too close to the ball. Now, if you note right here, before he even places his hands, you'll see this ball move forward because he's not going to have arm extension unless he does move it forward. He's just lined up a little tight to the ball. Go ahead, Dwayne. Okay, and you can see there was a slight push of the ball forward. We want to try to avoid that, okay? Now, if you'll go ahead and relax, we'll get you set up again, break it out one more time. This time, line up too far away, okay? All right. On this example, what you're going to see is a slight pull of the ball back to him. You can't pick the thing up or slide it forward or backwards. So what you're looking at right here, he'll place his hands. All right, and you saw that slight pull of the ball. Now, it seems like a nitpick thing. You can relax, buddy. It seems like a nitpick but you can't advance the ball or pull it back. You're just rotating the ball to get your hands placed right, okay? Now, I'll ask Dwayne to come back here to the five yard spot again. And what we're actually gonna do at this point, we've illustrated um, how you wanna break out and do things the same. 